let's spawn some ground let's get into this so create an empty game object go to hierarchy right click on it create empty game object and we will name this to something like crown parent okay crown parent and we will move this uh, game object from over here top of our ground as you can see and we will select an icon for it something like this one as you can see i'm gonna move this in top hierarchy so we can see it and we will make this crown child of this crown parent okay so take the crown and make it child of uh, child of ground parent game object as you can see now if i move this ground parent okay if i now move this ground parent the ground will also move with it so we will add two components to this ground game object okay so uh, basically both of those will be uh, box collider 2d so hit this add component and find box collider 2d and first one we will make the so added the collider for the first one something like this much as you can see and what we will do we will set is trigger to true basically checked okay uh, we will use on trigger enter 2d function for player so that's why we have checked this and we will add another box collider 2d which will be the size of this square or this ground okay so hit this add component once again and add a box collider 2d okay now this one it just will be jump to jump on it uh, ground and assign that with an certain tag this ground came object okay so we will assign had hit this attack and hit this plus icon name it something like ground and save it and go again to that came object once again and assign that tag as a ground now we have assigned this ground game object as a ground tag now what we will do make a prefab folder and assets and select this ground prayer parent okay and take this into pre that prefab folder and now we have turned this one prefab folder if we delete from this in view we can just directly drag it into this uh, 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 from that prefab folder to see in view as you can see uh, now if we play uh, we should able to see it's just normal so we also need to create a spawner script to uh, spawn uh, ground okay to over here something like that so just wait for to compile so now it's fine so what we will do i'm gonna take this ground parent in the top uh, and we will create a child game object of in this ground parent game object okay and we will move this one over here so right click on ground parent create empty game object and we will move this one from over here okay and we will select an icon for that go to inspector select an icon for it so as you can see so basically we want to spawn the next ground from this point so that's why we have created this style game object firstly we need to go to go again ground parent and we will access this second child okay which is zero is the first one one is the second one basically the index okay so from this point we will spawn the second ground parent or ground game object okay so go to ground parent and then over x apply all to change in the prefab as well as you can see we have added an child game object so that's why now it will change in the prefab as well so create a spawner script go to assets right click on it create c shop script name that to something like ground spawner or spawner go to hierarchy right click on it or hit this plus icon create an empty game object name that to uh, sorry name this to something like a spawner okay spawner sorry spawner spawner and go to transform of that game object right click on uh, right click on it and reset the transform and we will select an icon for it uh, something like this uh, red one uh, and we will drag it in the top hierarchy and attach the script to this spawner game object whatever you have named it by this hit component or you can just directly drag the script to add component section okay so i'm gonna hit this add component i will find the script by typing in and attach that and double click that to open up in visual studio okay double click that to open up in visual studio so we will remove this update function for now okay and we will use a separate function for it and we will make it public so we can call through this function from another class so that's why that's why we will make it public so public and void and we will call this function to something like ground spawn or spawn ground okay spawn ground something like that okay spawn ground make this first bracket and this curly brackets 
so to spawn ground or spawn anything we have to use this instantiate function okay this function will take as a first argument the game object you want to spawn so we will uh, spawn the ground prefab game object as you seen so we need that game object and second thing it will take the position from where you want to spawn okay so we also need to define or assign position and third thing it will take the rotation so we will pass quaternion dot identity it basically means no rotation rotation we don't need any rotation for now we will comment this and we need to assign those variables in the top hierarchy and then after it we will able to instantiate that or spawn so firstly the uh, game object which is the ground prefab and we will make it public so we can set in inspector that will be ground prefab as you know uh, that is also an game object set uh, so that's why we have to type game object and the second thing it will be the position okay mm, so let uh, we will make it public it doesn't need to be public you can make it public uh, so, uh, you can make it private okay for explanation I am making it public which is vector 3 for position okay and uh, we uh, and as you know vector 3 has three axis x axis y axis and the z axis okay and we will call this one to something like next spawn post okay and close that off with semicolon and control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity so we will able to see a two field will appear over here firstly the ground prefab so what we need we need to drag the game object which is ground prefab uh, to that slot so we will have the ground prefab and the second thing which is the next spawn post and by default we haven't selected any default value so it will pick up 0 0 0 in the x axis y and z as well so as you can see 0 0 0 but you can set over here so uh, if I so we need to drag as you can see ground prefab which says none so we need to drag the ground game object to that field now we have the ground okay from, from this point we want to spawn uh, spawn that game object uh, so right click on hierarchy create an empty game, game object and we will move it over here and we will uh, check the position as you can see 8.9 or 9 okay from 9 and we will uh, put a uh, in your uh, y axis minus 2.77 as you can see and 0 in the z we don't need for act for 0 axis okay so this position is uh, minus 2.77 and 9 so we need to put so we will go to spawner script once again and we will put uh, for x something like uh, 9 as you seen and y minus 2.77 as you seen okay minus 2.77 sorry not this 2.77 in the z we will put leave it as it is zero okay now so basically we will spawn from this position we define it the position as you can see so we will go over to script once again and we will use this function instantiate function so as you seen it will take the game object you want uh, you want to instantiate as a first argument so we will pass this ground prefab game object as you seen we have assigned that and the second thing we need to assign the position so we will pass this next spawn post position and uh, we have assigned it in the inspector as you seen and the third thing it will take the rotation so we will pass quaternion dot identity it's basically mean no rotation and close that off with semicolon but we make the function we never calling it so this line will not be executed so the ground prefab will not be spawned so we will call this function in the start of the game okay in this start of the game as you know start function get call whenever the game start and it just call one time so we will call this function and what this function will do it just instantiate or spawn the ground prefab game object at this point with no rotation as you can see so let's call that so spawn ground spawn ground we have to type the function name and make sorry spawn ground we have to type and make this first bracket and close that off with semicolon and control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity we will able to see the ground prefab game object will be spawned from that this position because we have assigned this next spawn post as you can see in the x9 y minus 2.77 in the z which is, which is 0 as you can see basically this position we will able to see that game object will be spawned in the start of the game from this position so hit play in the top okay uh, so it just will spawn one time because we have just calling in in the start of the game and we are never calling it more anymore as you can see the, the 
that uh, ground prefab game object instantiate from this point as you can see uh, it just instantiated or spawn was just one time but we want to instantiate or uh, whenever the player trigger with this box collider okay so if i select this ground parent a and go to ground game object as you can see we have added two box collider one of them we set uh, as the size of the screen as you can see okay as you can see and we set it is triggered to true as you can see so we will use on trigger inter 2d function okay and one one and other one we set the size of this square as you can see box later basically that one is for jump uh, for player okay so we will go to spawner uh, player uh, player game object and we will open up the player script okay so we will go to player game object and we will use on trigger inter 2d function okay on trigger enter 2d function and as you know this function get call whenever we trigger with something and we set is triggered to true to that ground game object you need to assign with some uh, name okay so uh, as you know this function get call whenever we trigger with something and uh, we can extract info whatever we have triggered it with by going to this other like name of the game object whatever we have triggered it with tag anything okay so let's uh, what we will do we will check okay we will check if if other uh, dot game object dot tag okay if it's equals equals to ground ground and make this curly brackets as we know we have assigned this ground game object which is ground tag as you can see so this function over here on trigger inter 2d function get call whenever we trigger with something and we are checking uh, whatever we have triggered it with if that game object has a ground tag as you can see if other dot game object dot tag is if it's equals equals to ground and as we know we assign it that ground as a ground tag so we will definitely gonna trigger with that game object so what we will do we will call we will go to spawner script as you can see and we have made this spawn ground function okay with spawn and what this function is doing it just uh, instantiating this ground prefab game object at this point okay uh, with no rotation as you can see but we need to change this next spawn pose or we will just uh, spawn that from that position again and again we never changing it this next spawn pose we have assigned it as you can see if we go to a spawner as you can see next spawn pose we set x in the 9 y in the minus 2.77 and the z is 0 so it just will spawn from that position again and again so we also need to change this position so how we can change we will go over to whatever we have instantiated we definitely gonna instantiate this ground and we have created and child game object as you can see so basically we need to go over to this ground parent or this game object and then we will uh, access the second child okay as you can see zero is the first one okay first child and one is the second child basically the index okay basically the index so we need to change this position uh, before that what we will do we will put this one into a another game object variable and we will call this stem equal to this basically we instantiating this ground prefab at this point as you can see and we storing this ground prefab game object whatever we have instantiated into this stem variable or this stem game object as you can see it will work like container so what we will do we will change this position now so we will set this next spawn post next spawn post uh, equal to tame dot basically we whatever we have instantiated we storing this into this stem variable as you can see now we will go to that tame and we access we're gonna access the second child okay so we will go to transform then dot get child which is the one one is the second child as you know and we will go to transform of that and then uh, basically this and then transform then we will able to access the position so we what we need to do we need to go to transform then position now we have set this uh, next spawn post to our uh, whatever we have instantiated uh, that game object second child okay we are uh, changing this with a second child position which is this point basically okay basically this point okay so basically whatever we have instantiated firstly we storing that into this temp variable then we changing this next spawn post to that game object second child position as you can see tim dot transform dot get child one is the second child as you know then transform then accessing the position by changing okay now we have changed. so what we will do uh, we will 
we will go to uh, go to uh, player script once again okay so we need to go to the spawner script okay spawner script and from that spawner script we will uh, we will access this function as you can see so we will go to uh, player game object once again and we need to type find object of type uh, which is uh, an script as we know uh, which is we have named it spawner as you seen and uh, make this first bracket and we will access the uh, spawn ground uh, function as you seen and we made it public and make this first bracket and close that off with semicolon and control s on your keyboard to save this so basically whenever we trigger with that box collider or that ground game object uh, we uh, and we are checking if that game object has a tag ground if that is the case firstly we going to spawner script and as we know we have uh, created a spawn ground function in that spawner script and we made it public and we calling it as you can see and that function will spawn the ground prefab game object as you seen okay so control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity so when we trigger with this uh, box collider as we know we have added two box collider component one of them we set as the size of the screen if we trigger with that we should able to see uh, the ground prefab game object will be spawned uh, from that to next child position okay child position of that ground parent okay so now if i hit play in the top we should able to see that uh, uh, that function will spawn because whenever we trigger basically whenever we collide with that uh, box collider we should able to see so as you can see whenever i trigger I, it just is spawning uh, uh, as you can see it just is spawning so i hope you get the basics idea of it okay we also need to destroy this game object you can also use on trigger exit to the function to destroy okay 